Hello everyone, buckle up. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of API development. First up, the API fundamentals. We'll answer the big question, what is an API anyway? We'll then explore the different types of APIs out there. You might have heard of REST, which is super popular, but we'll also touch on others like SOAP, GraphQL, which is really cool for getting exactly the data you need, and gRPC, known for being super fast. Finally, we'll clear up the difference between an API and an SDK, they're related but definitely not the same. Next, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of API request slash response. This is the heart of how APIs communicate. We'll look at HTTP methods, these are like the actions you can take, think get for getting data, post for sending data, put and patch for updating, and delete for removing. We'll also decode those mysterious response codes, like 204, everything's okay, and those dreaded 404, not found errors. And finally, we'll peek into headers, which carry extra information in both requests and responses. Now, security is huge online, so we absolutely need to talk about authentication and security. We'll explore different authentication mechanisms that ensure only authorized users can access an API. This includes things like JWT, JSON Web Tokens, OAuth2, which you've probably used to log into apps with your Google or Facebook account, API keys, and basic author. We'll also cover essential security strategies to keep your APIs safe from prying eyes. Alright, let's get into the design. API design and development is where we learn how to build well-structured APIs. We'll focus on RESTful API principles, which are best practices for building efficient and scalable APIs. This includes understanding what it means for an API to be stateless, how to design resource-based URLs that make sense, and how to handle changes over time with versioning. We'll also learn about pagination, how to break down large amounts of data into manageable chunks. And you can't have a good API without good documentation, so we'll explore tools like OpenAPI, Postman, and Swagger that help you create clear and helpful guides for others, and your future self. Once you've built an API, you need to make sure it works. That's where API testing comes in. We'll look at various tools for testing APIs, such as Postman, which is super versatile, Curl, a command line powerhouse, SOAP UI, for those working with SOAP APIs, and others that help you send requests and check if the responses are what you expect. Finally, we'll talk about API deployment and integration. This is about actually using APIs in your projects. We'll see how to consume APIs in different programming languages like JavaScript, Python, and Java. We'll also explore the exciting world of third-party APIs. Think about how Google Maps API lets apps show you locations or how Stripe API handles payments. And to manage all these connections, we'll touch on API gateways like AWS API Gateway, Kong, and Apogee, which act as a front door for your APIs. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.